So the other thing we have to talk about in as we discuss this traditional setup classroom design is the idea of homework. All right. So it usually comes paired with the idea of lecturing in class. When you have so much content delivery happening in class, you your teachers know that you have to do something to let the kids practice. So the way to do it is to assign home learning. Now, uh, this is no news, but recent you know research has made it even more clear that home learning has its limits and that in fact when you hear the word home learning it it, it, it it hints at the fact that they need to be learning something right and so that is the new terminology instead of using homework because when you say homework it sounds like you're saying for them to do something at work at, war, at home to practice it now a study has shown there's a lot of problems with that and that really there is no problem with home learning but there's a lot of problem with homework and the problem is is whether or not the work is causing learning. Data suggests that when you assign homework like worksheets and practice problems and things like that, there's very little learning that's actually happening at home. And that, how do, how do we know this? Is because, if, for example, my typical science classroom. So you, you discuss the science material, then you assign a set of questions or a worksheet or reviews or something for the kids to do at home. When they go home and they do that homework, all right, the, the data indicates that if you had not assigned the homework, to practice, you students would still perform equally the same on standardized testing. So what is that saying? That's saying that with or without the homework, the test results are the same. So what exactly did the homework do? Well, not much, right? And the test results we're talking about are not great either way, because typically what you're seeing is people who are lecturing and then assigning homework for the kids to do it at home. And there's problems with that, you know. There's a lack of control about how the practice is actually done and who is doing it. Think about it. What is the environment the kids are doing this homework in? Is, is there an attention problem that they, they can't pay attention to what they're doing? And uh, Nowadays, you see there in the center of the picture, there's so many kids which are bombarded with the technology and options of things to do for fun and a lot of things which distract the student from actually learning. There's also the idea of not so much distraction but also uh, the homework frustration is that the student is at home, he's trying to do the answers, and, but he can't actually do it, and then he's frustrated and give up, gives up. Or he just writes anything just because he can't get a grade. And then there's so much paperwork to be graded that typically teachers which have all this homework don't really grade it with attention, so they don't really catch the problems that the students are doing. And even if they do, what kind, how is it possibly possible to give feedback to all those papers in depth that is necessary for them to actually learn from the experience? Uh, what else? What also? If the kid is, is is practicing and he doesn't know what he's doing, he's gonna practice the wrong thing a hundred times. So by the time, how do you break that then? You know, for example, let's say you're, you're teaching math and you you give homework practice and he did every single problem wrong. Now he now he has fifty times the practice of doing something wrong. What kind of practice are you gonna do to counteract that? So even if you correct that and say, oh, listen, here's what you do. Now, you showed him how to do it now. Now he knows, but he, what he remembers is 50 times wrong practice. And, and so just, it just goes back to the way how learning works. If you practice the wrong thing, you learn the wrong thing. And so since you're at home and there's going to be a disconnect between the actual uh, practice being done and, and the person who's checking that practice, uh, there's a disconnect between a lack of control about who is who is doing the assignment. How can you be sure that the person didn't Google the answers, didn't copy from each other, or or basically did it right before class because he needed to get a grade, so he just copied all the answers for someone else? Maybe he found the all the whole project at home and then the internet. Maybe he uh, worked with a worked with a friend and they actually worked together, but maybe it's just one of them that did the answers. What well, maybe? There's a problem of the student not being able to check the answers. You know, he did the work. He doesn't know if he did it right or wrong. And then the teacher is so overwhelmed with lecturing in class that sometimes he doesn't even give the answers out. And the student doesn't know if he did right or wrong and if he does anything to improve. So between the distractions, the lack of control about how the homework is done and who is doing it, the disconnect between the actual uh, way of doing uh, the assignment and the person who is actually grading it, which creates problems for actual depthness of, of input or feedback. Uh, the disconnecting time between when the, when the material was taught and then hours later, maybe days later, the, the kid is going to actually practice it. The disconnect between when the practice was done and when the feedback was given. Um, 
the lack of help while you're trying to do it uh, because you're home by yourself, the lack of guidance and feedback. Um, when you do the homework, you're doing it in a certain environment with a certain mood and you're spending a certain amount of time doing it. But then it comes to time of the test, you're not in the same environment, you're not in the same mood, and you don't have the same amount of time. So there's a problem with how we are practicing at home and how this actually they're actually being tested and how they're being taught in class. And this is just a few of the things which is wrong with homework, you know, and I can go on about about that, you know, and how it just basically don't work. Too much problems with distraction, too much problems with the uh, lack of control about uh, who's doing it, how it's done, a disconnect in time and space and mood about when the teaching is given, when the homework is done, and when the reveal is being made. I can go on. So, the homework might not work. Now, there is homework that does work, and I do believe that exploratory homework, or in other words, homework like, for example, writing a lab report, or a homework like um, writing a paper, a long paper that can be tested for plagiarism, homework like uh, a project that is done that takes a lot of time, you know, preparing a presentation or something like that, um, ho homework that is about reviewing something or creating something unique that is not actually just a worksheet that you're answering questions. That kind of homework is different from homework that is like, oh, here's a bunch of questions that, or practice problems of what we did today. Go ahead and do it. Hopefully, you get it right. I'll give you feedback, hopefully, if I have time, next class. And when I do, it's going to be for a whole class. It's not going to be just for you. And, oh, yeah, if you, just, you, if you got something wrong, I'll mark an X, and you never know exactly what you got wrong unless you have to take the time to come talk to me. Ugh, I can go on about why this just doesn't work, you know, and that kind of homework doesn't have data to support that it's useful. So teachers are wasting time grading and assigning, and kids are wasting time doing this homework. And uh, even if they do it, that's a blessing because the majority of kids will copy from each other or do it in a, in a way that doesn't really pay attention. And, but even if they do it, they're not doing it right after they've learned it. They're not doing it in the same environment, mood, in, in the same amount of time that they need to do it in class uh, when they have to display that doing a test. They're doing are surrounded by distractions. They cannot check their answers. They don't have immediate feedback or guidance. Uh, it just doesn't work. Try, let's try to limit homework to what it, the ones that work, the actual exploratory homework, or even better, let's do home learning the way it's supposed to be done, which is learn the material at home so that we can do the practice in class where you can actually solve all these problems we just talked about in class, all right? So, in the next video, we're going to be talking about the flipped classroom and how it solves all these problems.